Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I would like to do is talk to you about proofreading. And I'm doing that because uh, as a writing instructor I do a lot of proofreading in the writing lab. And what I see a lot of is people not actually doing a very good job of proofreading. And so I want to help you with it. this. One of the basic problems of proofreading is that people don't read what's there, their brain reads what it thinks is there. And I see this all the time, I make students read poorly written sentences out loud, and oftentimes if there is just one small mistake in the sentence, they will actually read it correctly, even though it's written incorrectly. And this becomes a problem, when you're, especially when you're proofreading your own paper, because it's part of you. You created this uh, writing, and so it's very close to you. And so you read what you think should be there and not what is there, is my point. And so what I want to do is show you some programs that can help you with your proofreading. And what these are basically is text-to-speech engines. These are programs that read your paper to you out loud. And this is important because what the computer does is doesn't read what it thinks should be there. The computer only reads what is there. And so you will catch mistakes much more easily than you would normally. So what I want to do is just change uh, some of these things so that you can kind of get an idea. So this is the first one I'm going to show you. This is learningengineer.altervista.org essay writer, essay reader. This is my own creation. It's using a JavaScript library. Uh, called Responsive Voice. And if you just Google Responsive Voice, you can also create a website that reads to you and has a text box like this that reads to you. And if you want to see how I did this, just like I showed you, right clip, view page source, and you can see all the JavaScript in that. It's fairly simple. So what I've done here is already copied and pasted uh, this part of an essay in here, and you can kind of hear how it goes. So, Logical fallacies is all around us. A politician claiming that his opponent can't be trusted because he or she is some kind of socialist or communist undermines the truth in our democratic political system by causing distrust amongst voters. A baseball player using an elaborate ritual because it a what? Okay, and I can pause. He did the last time he got on. And I can stop and start it from the beginning. And you can paste however large of a of a document you want in here. And this is free. So this is mine. I'm going to close this now. So it's learningengineer.altervista.org forward slash essay writer forward slash essay reader. If you just go to learningengineer.altervista.org, it's essay reader right here. Learning the engineer where we engineer learning for efficiency. Okay, and that's just my website reading itself to you. So there's that one. Next up we have Balabalka. I'm with Balabalko. This is a text-to-speech program as well. It has all kinds of features. You can just come here and download it. I'm actually using using the Portable One version that I got from Portable Apps, but this is the original website that it comes from, and it's right here. And I've already copied and pasted into here. Now, the first time I did this, it didn't get the voice, so I simply went up here to Voice, down here to Voice, and I select selected my voice. So I have Microsoft Des David Desktop. And what's nice about this compared to the previous one is this one actually follows along as it reads. So these are your controls up here. I'll just click play. Now I don't know if you can hear that, but it's outputting it uh, to my speakers instead of to my headphones, so I'm going to quick change this. There we go. System by causing distrust amongst voters. A baseball. And as you can see here, ritual because it is what he did the last time he got on base allows him to believe. As you can see here, it's following along as it reads it. But rather the ritual itself. At times. So that's Balabalka. Enterprise such as Reebok registered. 
So I'm going to close that now. And that's, you can either install that or download it and use the, and use the portable app, which is here, and I just run it, double click here, and it'll run. So that's Balabolka. I think that's how you pronounce it. Next up we have uh, D Speech by Dimio. I've used this one quite extensively. I just use it because I'm used to using it. Similar to um, Bella Balka, you simply download it. It takes you here. It's a zip file. You unpack the zip file and and just run it from the from the folder. Here's D Speech. And this is it. I would just double click this. I already have it running, but that's all you would have to do. You come over here. Here I've copied and pasted it in. And you just click speech. Logical fallacies are all around us. A politician claiming that his opponent can't be trusted because he or And of course, this one, as with Balabalka, is you can speed it up, you can change the pitch. A socialist or communist undermines the truth and our democratic political system by causing distrust amongst voters. A baseball player using an elaborate... You can even record it, save as an MP3. So if you would want this to be have something re read to you, I'm sorry, read to you, you could do that as well. So that's D-Speech and Balabalka. And then, of course, our last option is, is just to use Microsoft Word. And normally it would be up in here, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click more commands. And when I come up to here, instead of popular commands, I'm going to pick all commands. And it's, I believe it's called speak. Um, so it should be right down here. Speak, right here it is. And I'm just going to click add. And we'll add it. And it's there. Okay, so if I paste this in and come to here, That's right, I've got to, I think I've got to select it all. And again, this is outputting to my speakers and not my microphone, but it shouldn't matter. Alright, so this is Learning Engineer, and these are four or five programs that will help you proofread your papers. Have a great day.